Hello everyone, this is Minoxen bringing you another high-definition commentary of Heroes of New Earth. I am joined with On a Prayer, man. Hey, it's been a long time. Good to have you. Yeah, uh, you work off, like, the moon or what? Like, yeah. <laughs> every lunar cycle, you decide to just, you know, grace us with your presence. Something like that. You know, I had the whole vacation thing come up, and then I was sick for a couple of weeks. I couldn't talk for more than a few minutes without coughing just horribly, so that's not the best of casting things. And then I get back from vacation, and Han's broken, so I can't get any replays. The only way I'm going to be able to do a cast is if I'm on the particular moment that a game's taking place, so didn't didn't get anything out there for a while. I'm sorry to the fans out there and everything uh, who have continued to subscribe. Um, we're up to 1,300 uh, subscribers right now, and I'm just flabbergasted. I wouldn't have imagined. I mean, I didn't put out content for almost a month, and uh, still getting plenty of subscribers, and I appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed and you're listening to this, go ahead and feel free to subscribe. It is, in fact, free. And this is going to be a banning draft matchup here, um, one of my favorite things. So um, not a huge pool to come from here, but we are seeing the bands come out. Uh, do you want to touch on the bands they went ahead and took out there? Yeah, sure. Aluna's Aluna's really strong solo 1v1. She's really good in a tri lane. So if you take her, she pretty much fits in the solo or a tri lane, which obviously makes her really, really strong because she's so versatile. Then she scales pretty well because she's she farms like a real champ with her power throw. She could also harass from across the map, kind of like the um, Pharaoh rocket. Only hers is a little more precise with the range, you know, with the global power throw with the ultimate. Mm -hmm. Fade is considered really strong now. Uh, it's considered like a, you know, uber pump stomp hero right now. But she's also really strong. Because used to be you could... She was always annoying, right? But you could counter because you're like, all right, guys, get counter wards. And as we go, or get an eye. And then you'd be fine. But now she can just go through the trees and stick to the fog. So even if you have the counter wards and you have the bound eye, it doesn't really help you because you can't see into the trees. Yeah. So she can still come at you by surprise, which is which is really nice. Also, the clear vision or ultimate it might be a little bit much, but yeah, it's she's really strong. I can definitely see her being a worthwhile band. One of those heroes that it's just like once she gets on a roll, you just hard to repeatedly. Stop. Yeah, it's like stop dying. He's like I can't help it. <laughs> it's fade. Op. Op. Yeah, but they definitely. they also went ahead and took out Amon Ra. I have played um, a couple of matches, just two v two stuff. I haven't had that much time to get on. I also redid my man cave, so that took a little bit um, to get my computers rehooked up and everything. But Amon Ra seems to be pretty potent, at least from what little bit I got to experience him. So I'm not very surprised by the ban there and Soul Stealer, I guess, rounding out the ban. So mm, I don't know. I guess it's a decent enough ban. Yeah, Soul Stealer. Pretty unsurprising. Just again, like Fade, one of those heroes that once they get rolling, really hard to counter. So you just don't want to deal with them. So you just ban them and figure everything else is is fun and amusing. You know, he, you know, Soul Steel is boring. Who wants him anyway? Just get rid of him. Yeah, this is the most uh, recent. Well, not the most recent patch. Is whenever I logged on, there was a, a new patch. I didn't even look at the change notes for that. But those aren't important. This is the patch where Keeper got buffed. And Bloodhunter got buffed and or reworked, silhouette however you want to say it. Yeah. And um, yeah, and Silhouette um, got nerfed just a little bit there, didn't she? In this one. Mhm. Mm yeah, a little more than a little. Quite. I mean, all her abilities basically were altered were in some way, like the physical the... stun to the magic and yeah, except for the like first that. one. The, those farming blades, whatever you call them. Yeah. Yeah, little exactly. damage blades that spin around yeah. her. That you can fire off in random directions. Oh, we Not are going to get to see the new keeper. So that's going to be interesting to see. Yeah, Amon I've Ra heard is... them cry OP already, but that's <laughs> nothing nothing new whenever they tweak a hero. Usually it's OP crying well, for a see, while. Well, see, the thing is, they, they didn't exactly tweak him. They, like, they fall, you know, they flat out just adjusted his entire skill set. Yeah. Like, every single thing got got changed so got now altered he, in some way yeah instead yeah, of just like eh, he really was okay stopped. now we'll we'll play something different but he's a farmer he's a pusher his ultimate is now 100 second cooldown at level three Ooh. and it's, <laughs> it's you know it was like 160 before so it's a minute shorter and 100 seconds really really low cooldown just spam 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 they lower the duration on it. it used to be like three four five now it's like two three four Damn. they upped the damage by like 15 you know, 15 damage instead of it like 85, it does 100. So it does a little more damage in a short amount of time. 
but it's obviously less damage overall than it used to be. But the fact that it's a hundred second cooldown is the real big difference, and that's that's pretty big. That and, and honestly, his new I his armor him gives him cooldown. damage and things like that around other trees and all that. It's just. I, I, we don't have to touch on all the different things on it, but he has gotten a pretty serious mm -hmm, rework, yeah. and uh, he'll be interesting to see this game. As far as the teams go, uh, we have Torturer, Silhouette, Voodoo Jester, Hammerstorm, and Keeper of the Forest, newly reworked and everything, on the Legion side. Um, not really seeing a huge hard carry potential there on that squad, but a few nice carries, um, so look forward to that. Let me pull up the stat sheet. There we go. Um, on the Hellborn, we have Behemoth, Puppet Master, Demented Shaman, Bubbles, and Corrupted Disciple. Now, I know that um, Behemoth has received uh, a nerf. It's been many patches ago, but I don't think that I've cast since then, so <laughs> I, I don't know really how much that's affected him. I haven't been able to watch like <clears throat> any matches either, but I'm sure on a um, prayer's much more on these things. Yeah, if I remember, I don't know the exact, exact numbers, but his ultimate no longer procs off corpses. It used to work on corpses, uh. too. No longer does that. And his ultimate damage was... Like, I think it took a little bit too much of it. Like, the fact that they removed the corpses was fine. But then they also nerfed the overall damage per, you know, target that's around him. So, it kind of took a two-fold hit there with his ultimate. But on the other hand, he got buffed. His, um, his heavyweight, it used to do, like, 0.1 second stun at level 1. It now does, like, 0.6 seconds stun at level 1. Hmm. So it's a little more useful in that in that regard. Earlier game with his disables, you know, it, being able to stun longer like that. So it's kind of like they adjusted him, but I think his ultimate may have taken a little bit too much of a hit, but still really shocking. I mean, the fact that he could disable people so long with all of his stuns in a team fight once he jumps in there can't really beat that. Although, like between him and Magnus, he used to say Behemoth because ultimate was so strong. Now it's probably yeah. pretty even, but in well, that does even it up a little bit, master. though, makes it a little more fair, because the Fisher Stun, I guess the Fisher Stun's like a two-sided blade, though, because you can screw your team over, but you can also help, uh, whereas Magmus Stun, you know, everything in the line that you manage to hit gets stunned, and uh, you're not going to trap an ally with that. But, um, yeah, interesting to see how he'll play out here. I know that I've seen him in competitive play, or at least in the when I've been looking over the forums there at uh, Game Replay, seeing that he is being picked competitively still. Uh, I guess that he's just more on par with some of the other heroes now. Yeah, usually you might see oh. a Magnus being banned, and then... Oh, action at bottom. Yeah, that was exactly, as Voodoo Jester said it right there, Wasted Shell... Bubbles decides, you know what, hey, there's only two people on the map, I'm just going to go ahead and throw my Shell Surf out, that sounds like a good idea, and he gets chain stunned immediately as he throws that out, so his one escape mechanism that he bothered to invest in was wasted, and uh, he was taken down very quickly there. Yeah, I'm not sure why he would use it at level 1 too, it barely does any damage, it's like 60 or 70. I don't think he even got a kill with it, that's... Yeah, uh, I'm not sure why you do that. You just want to be auto attacking lane. He wouldn't want to push out the lane anyway with an, any sort of damage. So I'm not sure. Oh, he did get one creep like, kill though. So totally oh. worth it. <laughs> At the top lane, though, I was gonna say Behemoth is a really good pick if you have um, a puppet master since he has no escape. Behemoth oh, being I able see. to fissure, fissure block people. Kind of adds him out. a little bit of an escape mechanism in a way. Yeah, because it lasts for six seconds overall, even though it only stuns for one. So if he ever gets jumped, he can kind of block people off and give him the chance to run away. So if you have a Puppet Master, you generally want the Behemoth. Otherwise, they would have gone with the Magnus, although it's banning draft, so not like... You know. Yeah. It worked out, though, since Behemoth is the ideal pick if you have a Puppet Master trialing. Hammerstorm's all right, too, I suppose, but they actually, you know, the Hammerstorm went to... Uh, I'm not really... I guess we can call it... Well, it went to Warden, so we'll just say it went to EG, since he's, you know, clearly... The better team. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Alright. Middle matchup between Corrupted and Torture. It'll definitely be going to Torture. Um, Melons also really likes Torture. He plays him a heck of a lot in like scrims and elite games and matchmaking. And Do you think out of the heroes on the, the Hellborn that was the best choice to go ahead and send Corrupted, or mid, or Corrupted Disciple mid there instead of like a Puppet or even Bubs maybe? I guess Bubs is going solo bot, though, so that's mm. probably better for him. Yeah, they they needed Bubbles to go solo, yeah. And then, oh, action in the middle lane. Maybe, as uh, Corrupted Disciple to the rescue, doing the little bit of Corrupted Conduit there, and his little Electric Tide, I can never remember the name of that. Um, 
repulsing the enemies back there as they, they flee for their miserable little lives. Behemoth actually sitting mid here, um, helping out this Corrupted Disciple, though, since it is going pretty much as... Uh, Oh, sorry. On a prayer just said that uh, he is going to need a little bit of help mid there to keep up with this torturer. Um, and looks like Bubs is not having the best of time bottom either since they keep cycling Legion heroes in. And Keeper is doing some forest jungling. Yeah, that's pretty much what he wants to do since top lane has been vacated. And he doesn't really need to be anywhere, so he'll just hang out in the jungle. And Has he been the entire time, though? I think he has... Um, I am not sure. I didn't even pay that close of attention to see where he went to. I know that this bottom's had three in it. I didn't see where Keeper was originally. I assume he so. was top, and then he just decides to go jungle, which... Yeah, I mean, sense. if you're going up against the try lane, there's... Ring no. of the Teacher no. pick up, no. I assume. Although he's not getting the Ring of the Teacher. He's going back to top lane now. Huh. Maybe he just wanted a level or two? I don't know. Yeah, try and help himself out a little bit. But Puppet's already at level 5, and he's at level 3. I don't really know why you would bother getting a TP and going up there right now. Especially yeah. since D-Sham's probably still working in the woods there. Yes, he is, busily stacking. Um, which is more difficult in this patch, too. We, we were discussing that beforehand. Uh, doing the stacking and pulling and everything is a little bit more difficult now, since you have 1.75 seconds less to do it. It's 5.5... What is it? 5.25 seconds now. The the leash, as they call it, on those. Yeah, it's definitely a lot harder to do. It's workable. I'm not sure without boots, though. I know if you have plain boots, that you're able to do it. If you pull one of the camps at, like, 53 seconds, you get to the other one by about 55, 56. You can still double stack. But without boots, I don't think it's possible. So without boots nice. and without range is yeah. probably most definitely. That was the other thing that changed here. I... What was the varying on some of these melee heroes? Because it's all set to one... There's a nice ward coming out from Cardinal, spotting these guys waiting for the jump. As uh, Kind of got a little suspicious there. You know, these other lanes are a little unoccupied. Silhouette going up solo against Bubbles. And uh, Torturer still sitting mid with Keeper trying to do something top. Yeah, they wanted to adjust because it was always so hard to get last hits because you get caught behind creeps and you had to run around them to actually get your last hits in. Oh. Action in middle lane. This. Yeah, Corrupted is trying to go ahead and get the kill on Voodoo Jester, but unfortunately gets stunned and is not able to continue up with the follow through on that. Torturer, though, maybe going to go ahead and pick up a second kill if he can. Oh, Hammerstorm's going to have a hammer. There it is. And nope, decides not to go ahead and loop around for it. As Corrupted is happy, or Torturer is happy with his one kill. Yeah, go definitely not a wise decision for him to be chasing a Voodoo Jester. Like, even had he gotten the kill, he would have died anyway. So it's kind of like. <laughs> He would have traded kills for a support and a carry, and the, the, not likely that he'd get the you know get the kill anyway. But sometimes you just tunnel vision and you got to do it. Yeah, just got to. <laughs> you do make it. that second split second decision, and then you just you're shaking your head, hoping that it works out. You're like, damn, this was a horrible idea. Oh well, I'm too far now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The point <laughs> of no return. Past the point of no like, return. Yeah. Yep. Either That's I get one of my usernames. <laughs> get a couple no get a couple of hits out there and. Yeah. Run away, or you know, just one of my usernames in beta. Yeah, too far gone. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Multiple meanings, but oh. pretty much it was just yeah. There goes Hammerstorm. No I'm not really sure what Hammerstorm was thinking there. He did see the uh, Demented Shaman and the Corrupt Disciple, and I'm assuming they could see the TPN from Behemoth. He didn't really try and conceal it that much, at least from what memory serves on that. But uh, playing a little. F little bar far forward there. Keeper of the Force still trying to go up against this Puppet Master up top, who is level 7, facing off against a level 5 Keeper now. Uh, what is this Puppet Master up to as far as Creep Farm so far? 43 and 8 versus a Keeper who is 18 and 0. So I guess even though Keeper's up there and he has his life tube now, it's, it's still going to be a really hard ride up there. I'm not even really sure with his jungling capabilities that uh, what I've been reading on Keeper, why he would... Um, plan on going that route instead well his yeah i mean he gets one tree and then he gets two trees at level one and they think they have like 600 some hp or something like that kind of turns attack. him into a little furion yeah <laughs> treants do yeah, they call treants here I yeah i think they, they call are. it well they just say they don't really call animate them forest huh yeah but i don't know what they what the little the critters are actually called. are yeah, called i'll have to check Next time he summons them, but overall in terms of the lineups, there's a lot of 
Not a lot, but there's the ultimate for Demented Shaman and the Twix from Corrupted Disciple. Corrupted in general is considered a pretty strong pick nowadays. He was always considered a really good pick. On and off again, the pick, you know, how popular he was, but he was always considered strong. Being able to, you know, build him as a tank and still do a lot of damage with his Corrupted Conduit. So that's that's always really useful, obviously. <laughs> Top lane, yeah, Puppet Master got a six minute Alchemist Bones, that's just going to help him over and over again. On the other side, pretty much the same thing for Silhouette. Trialfondor loves Silhouette and he loves the Aluna. Aluna was banned. And nice take cover. Going to dodge that stun. Let's see. And a Catapult getting cashed in. Nice. So it's going to just be really back and forth. Bubbles having a good escape mechanism. I assume he won't get caught like he did. <laughs> The, the I guess Trough is pretty much keeping exact uh, yeah. score with uh, pretty much the same situation in both lanes. As for who's the better farmer, it, it always you know what it comes down to. Puppet. I would imagine disables. Puppet, wouldn't he? Yeah. yeah, with the disables, he's generally considered to have the overall advantage. He was nerfed like two or three patches ago. I think like two. Oh, nice hammer. As they are going to go ahead and finish the job there on that. However, leaving a poor little Voodoo Jester all to his lonesome, going to be going down, unfortunately. But yeah. I would make that trade corrupted for puppet or voodoo. But that uh, that is woof it. Does voodoo's ever the bane of Cardinal's existence? He's baiting him every time. Mm, yeah, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, well, it. I don't know. I do it too. I mean, it's cake. You know who doesn't want cake? As this courier slowly but surely, oh there we go, puts on the shield and jetpacks on oh, jet out of there. jetpack courier, I have not yeah, seen Yeah, now we can actually new... say jets on out of there, huh? Yeah, he does, he jets, jets right on out. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to keep track of their warding up here too. Tainted love throwing out a ward um, for the Hellborn here to keep them vision of that river so Testy does not get jumped while he's playing on his Puppet Master. Also a ward being placed... Um, in the river there to keep an eye on the rune and to keep uh, that extra little bit of um, breathing room for Testy up top. And yet another ward down at the bottom rune keeping an, an eye on that situation. One from Cakes down there as well. But an interesting situation on the runing. I guess that there's there's enough out there for the Hellborn right now. Oh, and the shield coming out on the Corrupted Disciple middle. I don't know that it's going to last long enough. You might want to see about backing up here. There we go. It does go ahead and back up just a little bit. Just enough. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I would be so be angry. I would just yeah, sacrifice Voodoo Jester right ultimate. for that. That sucks. Pew, pew, pew. Um, so, yeah. Sorry, I got completely distracted on that. But that was... Yeah, where was I? About the overall teams. Yeah, it's kind of like a hack job. It's being BD. But they did pick really solid teams. Like, if you were to be playing... Um... A regular match, these would be pretty solid picks, barring the tree, who's kind of like, he could solo, I, I've said that he can solo 1v1 side lane, but he's, he's definitely not as strong a solo laner as others, but pretty solid, I mean, with those minions, it's always an effective tool for chasing your opponent out of the lane, although they don't do that much damage, they're more of like a meat, well, they're, they're current, <laughs> well, they're herbs, but whatever. Behemoth getting his dance on, uh, enjoying the nice impalement uh, disco effect going around him. There we go. Uh, it's kind of like those spikes on the ground, huh? Like every time you put your foot down, you hop back up. It's like, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's a vicious cycle is what it is. Yep. It's like, uh, oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Top, we have Puppet Master still continuing to farm. Angry Testy, that is what he is well known for, is his farm game. Yeah, uh, that's why it's kind of boring. I 86 mean, and 16 um, yeah. is beating out the silhouette so far in the farm game. Does not have a hero kill on him yet, but he is sitting at 461 gold per minute versus uh, Silhouette at 415, so a respectable farm game for both. A nice deny coming out uh, from Orange there. Uh, Gosu? Or Gasu? I don't know. Well, I, I mean, it has to be Gosu. Gosu I would assume, but I, I didn't know The name know was probably taken. Yeah, so he just said, why not have two S's? We'll just do yeah. that. Like, nice block from Behemoth here, making that... Uh, unfortunate um, hammerstorm there. Had, had yeah. to dance between a, a rock and a couple of heroes in that particular case, which is not a good place to be. Bottom lane, Trafmador is farming, farming, farming. He's actually going for Helm of the Black Legion, which is, yeah, it's pretty much kind of 
one of the standard builds because you your relentless salvo adds on so much damage. Although now it has been nerfed a bit, so not as much, but it definitely attacks on quite a bit of damage. So you can get Helm of Black Legion, be tanky, stay in there and fight, and just keep you know hitting away. Another popular item is to go portal key since you can kind of grapple onto a tree and then jump into an appropriate position and then stun someone with it. And of course you attack you know, very fast afterwards so you can take someone out pretty easily. That's why portal key is good. Other than that, Geometer Bane obviously is really good because she already has the ultimate illusion. So she's really, really strong pusher. They actually have pretty good pushing team. They have the galvanized armor from Hammerstorm. They have the the treants or whatever. Key. Yeah. Oh, are they treants? Here's are our they? chance. No, nah, see, they're no, called animated, animated tree. tree. Wow. I mean, okay. Please. I, they are I mean, funky looking critters too. Yeah, they really are. They look funny though. They look like Nikes from Dota. Yeah. But you see what I'm saying? They, longer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they attack weirdly too. I don't know exactly who's in charge of making them, but he kind of like look like imps, I guess. Anyway. They, like I'm saying, you see they're 25 damage, so they don't really do a whole lot, but they tank a whole lot. 600 HP starting from level 1, and they, per level, they, the damage goes up by, every, you know, ever so slightly. Action in middle lane. Yeah, huh? Voodoo um, nobly sacrificing himself yeah. for uh, the torturer. Uh, why would you name yourself Cake? <laughs> Everyone wants Cake. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, he did do a, a very nice save there. We had... Um, Torturer, I got most all of it on camera so the uh, viewers are aware, but Torturer was uh, trying to get out of there. He'd gotten kind of baited into a little bit of a, a, a pull there, and they got some serious damage off. And then Voodoo Jester to the rescue, comes in, lands a nice stun, but unfortunately Behemoth by that point had looped around and lands a nice block on Voodoo. Torturer still able to get away, but Voodoo kind of left to his fate. Yeah, Torture typically generally is. gets the Ghost Marchers or the Steam Boots. Usually Steam Boots means, well not usually, it's pretty much preference, but Steam Boots people like because obviously you're pretty much in the thick of things and you really want as much HP as possible. And it's also really nice if you have a bottle you can swap between, you know, to agility and then get more bang for your buck. Mm-hmm when you bottle up so it's nice that way but some people like some people like to get blink dagger if they get the steam boots that may be why he's going it or he just likes it in general because he's mid and he has a bottle so steam boots is a better option but of course getting a portal key on torture is pretty viable but not always it's not always the case usually people like to just get straight drunken head after or null stone a pretty defensive item instead of an offensive portal key depends how the game's going um, for, with his team, I mean, they can be invised in, you know? I want to see that. I, how many, what's the cooldown? I don't know if they changed it, the cooldown on his camouflage, although now it's Nature's Veil. Yeah, yeah five second cooldown, so he has his animate forest and it lasts, you know. What's his three. armor thing, though? I saw he had it casted on Torturer, so where's that skill at? I don't see that. Is it... Oh, the, the invis is the armor now. Oh, wait, or is but it... But it doesn't mention anything about it. And, really? Oh, nature's protection, but it doesn't mention what nature's protection does. Oh. Well. Okay. So it just it uses his old buff. That's what I thought that they did, but as I was looking at for which one of those they tied it to, I was like, well, it doesn't really say anything. But yeah. Yeah. It's... So basically, what they did is they they removed the abilities, but they didn't actually remove them. They gave it him the same thing. They just added it into one. So they gave him extra abilities, which you know you'll take it. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Your invis and your armor are now the same thing, and they remove the eye, which... Oh, action in the middle lane. You're not going to really see the eye too terribly much. A nice root coming out, though. Catches Puppet Master, keeps Corrupted Disciple sitting still for just a little bit longer. Um, I don't think that Corrupted is going to go down just yet. He's hoping to be able to pick up another kill. There goes Hammerstorm. They're going to try and get Keeper here. Will he invis to save himself? There it is. Oh, but it does not save Voodoo Jester. <laughs> Nice job by Behemoth. He actually stunned an invis Voodoo Jester. After, I was wondering um, on that. Does that yeah. does that reveal or does that just No no. Because you can um trees invis is really good. Like you can use items while while in it. The I see. Because it almost looked like though, it was like they were actually targeting him, that's what I was curious, mate. Yeah, um what? well they didn't wouldn't have seen him because he was in the fog anyway. Yeah. Sitting but right over there. unless they shell surfed before then, I don't think. I think there was no vision there. He just saw the ultimate come out, and he knew he was in the proximate area, so he just threw it out there and disrupted it. I think it actually does break it, though. Um, honestly, he would have broken the invis when he used his spell, so... Oh, dear. 
fuck? Oh, okay. Portal key. Portal key on torture? Okay. All right. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, you had mentioned. I, I'm sorry. There's half the time I'm doing this camera work and stuff. I'm trying to keep track of where I'm. I'm like, okay, yeah, what hero is he talking so. about? Click on that one so the <laughs> people don't get upset that I'm watching the wrong person. Keep on. Oh, no. the I didn't have it when I mentioned. It. I just mentioned that it's a pretty viable option. It's just not always seen, but it's pretty. It's pretty popular. Like it's not like it's super hmm. rare. Oh, well, it's, it's peculiar. I mean, I, I think it's guess, probably the the first time that I have seen that, but. Uh, course me being gone for the time that I have and I don't get to watch a ton of competitive matches anyway so thank you for the insight on that on a prayer that is why I love having you here and I'm sure that the viewers definitely appreciate it I've been having my email box flooded with people saying do more casts with on a prayer and smock we miss those guys so oh sweet glad people enjoy it as for why he'll get portal key in this case I mean there's a tree so tree alts he'll be able to jump in and follow up stun ah. easily and get that they nice have, AOE while they're yeah. tied down in place. Hammerstorm's gonna want to go for a portal key too, so they have a lot of initiation once, you know. Once, once Hammerstorm they gets it. some yeah. gold. <laughs> yeah, well, he's been it's playing Hammerstorm support though. pretty much. So yeah, shout out to Warden. Been ages since I've actually seen him play. <laughs> is kind of a, what is he playing like Magic: The Gathering? I don't know some some World of Warcraft stuff. Who knows? <laughs> One of those things. Just keep listing random games. I'm sure eventually you'll, you'll <laughs> nail it. Well, I don't actually know, so I'll just list them and assume that he's playing those games. So. Uh, Puppet Master, however, doing a nice little bit of uh, uh, farming here. Of course, it's testy. Shouldn't be surprised whatsoever. Has his Minotaur. Did a nice stun there. I really like when they change that to allow those ancients to be Aww, hit by Chalk magic. Midor, you boop. Oh. He there used the go. portal key, which I did mention that he might pick up, and he didn't actually get in range. So he portal keyed in there, but it was too far away, so he used the tree... I forgot the ability. The ability is called Skydance, and the other one's called I don't know. We'll just call it an Tree Grapple ability, and something like that. Death Lotus and Relentless Salvo. No, no, the Shadow. The two abilities that once you grapple a tree, it's like Skydance, and the other one some oh, other pulls the tree. I towards have you. no idea. I don't like playing her. So <laughs> yeah, basically the idea is that you you portal key in once you grapple a tree, and then you stun someone with it. But he actually portal keyed in. And he oh, was it gives you that good positioning yeah. for the tree. He didn't portal key in the appropriate position, so he grabbed onto the tree, and it didn't really do anything. Uh, well, that's what you get for watching your mini-map and judging depth <laughs> or distance. Mm. Yeah. Needs Usually I'll be I'll be watching where I'm trying to get and then glancing at the mini-map. Maybe he's playing with, like, like one eye or something. His one eye closed, his depth perception is a little off. Ah, uh, that could be just a little mm. bit off on the depth. Right, let's see where where was I? Yeah, I just wanted to mention about the trees uh, invis. Unless they change the how it works, you can use items while invis. But if you use an ability, it will uh, you know reveal you. So that is pretty much how it is. Like you can TP when you're invis by tree, and you can um, use like a codex if you want to be funny. <laughs> you can uh, actually portal key from tree from like one area of a tree to another area of a tree and stay invis. Oh, there we go. A nice demonstration of what you were talking about with use, the use of the portal key. Actually threw it out, portal keyed, and broke it while he was in transit, and then it landed whenever he got there. Unfortunately, Silhouette is going to die, but yeah. a nice demonstration of the eulage of that um, that <laughs> particular <it>. combination. <laughs> yeah, worth it. Because he got the support player. <laughs> totally. Totally worth it. What is his farm up or down to? Wow, 507 gold per minute. And Testy still showing his medal at 516 gold per minute, rocking it out as always, as only a Testy can. Uh, Bubbles going down here. Torture running the wrong way. Your base is the other way, buddy. Uh, does go down, and now <laughs> Puppet Master with his shrunken head, Whispering Helm, Alchemist Bones, and Steam Boots completed there is uh, critting out for around 300 right now. So he's. He's getting to be pretty nasty. I don't know if this is looking all that great for the whole Legion squad here. I think that Puppet out of, I don't know, wouldn't you say out of most of the Legion team, Puppet's got an edge on any one of them? Yeah, but they have a tree, and that's, uh, yeah. The Keeper <laughs> is always, <laughs> he always throws, like, a monkey wrench into the mix. Like, he'd be doing as well as, you, you know, he'd be doing amazingly well, and the Keeper just, man... Just the new him. keeper, right? Not not the keeper I'm no, thinking of. No, even the old still, one. Or... Even the old one was pretty annoying. Like if he got refresher, 
Yeah, um, well, he got the restoration that's... stone, which he's actually going for now. He's ridiculously far he's gonna... by that point, too. Yeah, they changed it. I don't know if his base mana pool will allow him. He'll probably need, like, some, maybe a chalice or something. But they did change um, restoration stone. Oh. It doesn't cost as much mana to restore as it used to. Oh, to that's use something. Because it. it used to cost, to like, <laughs> it was, like, 365. Oh, it was a ridiculous mana amount of mana, yeah. yeah. And they did lower it, I think, to, like, 285 or something like that. That's... I know it was changed to some something like that. It's more reasonable anyways, so yeah, look forward to seeing that. As yeah, Keeper, whenever I've the most of the time I've ever had to play with Keeper or play against Keeper has been whenever I have two V two, however noob that is. Um, but a keeper once he gets that kind of farmed where he has a restoration stone and you know, in two V two you'll see him get a blink dagger and stuff too there to where he can blink in, root, restoration stone, root again, and by then you're probably dead. But Root and boot. Root and boot. Yeah, it's really annoying. Of course, the duration is chain now, so it's not as long. But I mean, at the max level, it's what is it? It's four seconds, so eight seconds if he times it properly. Of course, there is um, the shrunken head. Once it's activated, he can root again, and it will catch him. If he actually, you know, if he activates shrunken head after keeper ultimates, then it will get him out of it. But if he has a double one, then, you know, first time. What's going on? He's blocking himself in because he's not microing his minotaur because he's busy with the courier. Nice, nice. I'd be busy with the courier all day too if it looked like that. I, I didn't actually. I don't have the coinage right now. I'm po. Well, uh, nonsense, you know. On a prayer being cheap again. Yeah, it's like because it's a small thing. It doesn't, you know, but it's so gratifying. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, Puppet Master now having... Oh, what do you think? Uh, that was one major thing I forgot to ask you about. The Observatory. There's such a yeah. different Honestly, variety a... of posts and stuff that I've seen. I mean, there's a lot of things that I'm I'm pretty lenient on, but this is a joke. Yeah. They, they have an entire building dedicated to Ward. Yeah, that's. I was like, why would you even bother? Why not just remove it entirely? Just have it as a gank spot or something. I think that's I mean, pretty much what it is. They just... They needed to have something there because people are so used to having something there. It's like, all right, let's just put it in. Let's, hmm, I think we'll put hordes because it's an observatory with the telescope and it makes sense. Well, it'd be interesting and, if they added in it, you know, instead they took away the observatory and just went yeah. ahead and added a creep farm location there or something. Just one more yeah. to go mm. ahead and give that much more opportunity for, it seems like they're kind of leaning a little more towards jungling at least. With the rework on Keeper, Amun Ra is a really good jungler, from what I've read, and mm, would suspect. Not... <laughs> you can't jungle Amun Ra because his abilities deplete his HP, HP too much. Pool. Well, I and don't think once... that you do it from you... beginning, but yeah, yeah, I suppose so. Like if you had a Helm Black Legion, but those Catmen, those he Catmen farms are... really quick. Yeah, that's he just his um those flames or whatever the Enchanted Flames, whatever it's called, yeah. the ones where it's like a 1.5 second cast time and then goes boom. That one is really good farming tool, and his passive, of course. Wait, do these trees come back to life after they've died? No, no, no. Because I it, thought the that... cooldown. How the hell did that happen? It looked like uh, I might have been seeing things. Did it he, looked like they died the and then they came back again. Did he tree the trees? He might have, but he no. wasn't anywhere near them, so I don't know how. But <laughs> apparently they're ghosting, because Testy. Oh, Testy's streaming. I would assume he oh. was streaming at the time. Are we? <laughs> <laughs> but then Melons might be streaming too, so it's kind of like... Who knows? Who knows? Hard to say. Right, well, that would be funny if you did get matched up in team matchmaking with one of those guys. You're like, oh, quick, let me alt-tab and open up his stream. <laughs> yeah, it happens quite a, quite often. I I fortunately don't have it. My stream isn't that popular, which is a good thing in this in this regard. I mean, And people don't really feel like... They don't, even, <laughs> they don't have the ghost to be. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, point they is, like I said, that if people, that people want to win damage. that badly, if people want to win that badly, I really don't care. That's pretty much what I've always said. All right, let's see. So now I'm going to check. He does have the Restoration Stone, and it costs 300 mana. So I think it was 300. like 365 or I want to say it was more than 300 before, but I can't. Yeah, you know, I know it was. I think it was like, all right, I'm, in my head, I think it was 385, but I, I always overestimate things. So maybe it was somewhere like in between. It's either 365 or 385, so it's 375. Okay. It did receive a little bit of tweaking. It wasn't like huge, huge, but it's obviously something. So let me see. His original thing costs 175. Good yeah. God. <laughs> Silhouette's illusion just ripping yeah. 
bubbles apart there, and then, well, I guess it wasn't the illusion all in all. I think he was running the other one, and then he jumped to it. Yeah, but that's another thing that was nerfed. It used to do 100% um, base damage. Yeah, that's what I thought. And now it does 66% at all levels. Huh. It used to do like 33, 66, and then 100%, or so, I think. And now it does 66 at all levels. That's which an interesting is route to go with it. Yeah. Make but it more basic... effective at an earlier level. Yeah, but not, I mean, not really. People use it as an escape mechanism earlier yeah. on anyway. Like, you just hang it off to the side, and if you're in trouble, you just swap between it. So, it's kind of more, it's a nerf. I mean, there's no way people, anyone would say it's a buff, because they up the cooldown on it. It's like 90 seconds at level 3, and it lasts. Like, it used, used to be able to always have it up pretty much, and now it doesn't last nearly as long. It lasts, I think, half a minute or something. Sheepstick and finished on Puppet. So, it's basically off cooldown for about a minute the fuck? when it disappears. What? Why does Behemoth look weird like that? What do you mean? Icy like? cold armor? Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Does he have it's an like ogre? Oh, he does have one. There it is, back there. Yeah. I was I was following... I saw his little critters following. I just was wondering where they were. But Yep. He's got himself a nice little attack speed buff and a nice little base damage buff. He's getting the really nice ones. Now mm -hmm. he's got the ice ogre armor buff. Redunculus. As we are going to see the Legion try and come in here, the Illusion's quickly dispatched, and Kong are going to be going down really quickly here. They got to do something. As Hammerstorm blinks in at the last second, is he going to be able to pick up the Congor is the question. No, he does not. His The creeps from Angry Testy actually picking up. Oh no, Puppet Master himself picking it up there. Uh, two from the Legion down. Keeper going to be joining them. Oh, just a very unfortunate um, counter Congor, I guess yeah. you would call it. As Silhouette just happily continuing to kill top. Um says okay you guys you guys take care of Congor there and I will I will do this yeah the health she does have build, a health I've seen flower. that too yeah. yeah I've seen that too um mm, it's okay obviously I mean it'll help her shut someone down I assume she'll want to use it on bubbles but honestly it's just added burst damage in a way but at the same time I would I would have gone geometer bane I've seen health flower on silhouette and it's not bad obviously it's always a great item but I just don't like it on Silhouette over Geometer Bane or something else, like Savage Mace maybe. Speaking of items, I feel like we probably need to touch on those. Torturer has gone ahead and finished his Sheep Stick, which he's been working on for a while now. Silhouette has the Hellflower, um, Helm of the Legion, uh, Black Legion, Portal Key, and her Alchemist Bones with her Steam Boots. Voodoo Jester hasn't really, he's been doing wards and stuff. He does have his Striders now though, so he is just striding all over the place. Hammerstorm has his portal key, which we saw there at Congor, him blinking in, trying to do something. Unfortunately, I'm missing a kill. Uh, looked like Silhouette picking up a kill onto Demented Shaman. No huge surprise there. And uh, was hoping to get uh, Corrupted Disciple, but I don't think that, don't think it's going to pan out here. Since, yeah, where the hell did she already go? Good God, oh, she's up top. Um, trying to take down this bubble. She might do it. Is she going to do it? Oh, the take cover at the last second. A nice little bit of distraction as that was just enough to give Bubbles the advantage on attack swing. Did he use and, his uh, uh, health flower? Hmm. I Maybe he used it earlier on? I I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention to his items, but that I was... Didn't see that. I, didn't see, I didn't see it on at the end, but it may have been used at the beginning because I caught it halfway when you mentioned it. Yeah, because I was wondering where he went all of a sudden, but wow, he's just really mobile. Um, okay, what else did we... Uh, Keeper of the Forest has his Restoration Stone, which you had mentioned. Has a Pickled Brain now. Um, yep. where do you th think he's going with this? Is he getting... Well, it's 900 for a lot of extra mana, so he can use the... You think he'll try and bother in with anything on it? You know, Icon of the Goddess for just more tankiness, <laughs> or what? what? <laughs> nah. He, I mean, getting a Ring of Sorcery isn't really that much of a stretch, since it's so cheap. It's like actually yeah. 500 gold or something. It's like... What is it, That's right, they the did lower that quite a bit it's not from even, what it's it like used to three, be. It's like 375 or something for for the Ring of Sorcery, so even if you were to get it, it's not like, you know. And it gives him that little bit of extra ability to spam he some of his spells. He wouldn't be going and... out on a limb if he got it. Uh -huh. but I'm bumped. Yeah. Right, let's see. Corrupted Disciple, right. So Shrunken Head, Shaman's Headdress, super tanky. Let's see. Bubbles, Portal Key. Assume he's going to go Nullstone. Could go Hex. Mm, actually, Nullstone, not too good. My bad. It would only really work on Voodoo Jesters and Hammerstorms. Yeah, stuff. I'm going to get a Sheep. Yeah. I was just going to say that offhand since 
with his uh, change to the take cover and portal key, you know. Synergy. Oh, that's right. The the timing on it's different now. Yeah. So getting defensive items isn't that bad. Although if you were to get one, you'd want to get a storm spirit since you can kind of adjust the fact that you don't have that time to portal key away with the storm spirit. So you can definitely get away between the two of them. But anyway, he will be going for the cauldron sheep stick and yeah. The Voodoo Chester wants to get an Astrolabe, I'd imagine, having the Shield of the Five. So the hell's Voodoo at? Oh, there he is. Oh, okay, he's gone ahead and... Wait a minute. Hmm. There should be a Snowman, so I could say Frosty to Snow... Ah, uh, whatever. <laughs> okay, Corrupted is one who were talking about being tanky. I was, I was trying to go in order there, and then you were talking about... I was trying to click on which hero you'd mentioned. Corrupted's the one with the Shaman's Headdress uh, and Shrunken Head. Ghost Marchers. As Portal Key being used on Torture to try and take down this Bubbles is going to do so very effectively, especially when Hammerstorm joins the party. Um, very unfortunate there for him. Uh, <laughs> ghosted, for sure. <laughs> Alright, well, there are OBS in the game? Uh, what? There are no OBS. I didn't think that there were any. It's, it was a matchmaking game, right? Mm-hmm. Weird, weird, and weirder. Okay. Moving right along, because I have no clue what that was about. Uh, so, Keeper, not too surprised. Alright, let me see. Level 2 is... What is the... Yeah, so it's basically 120 second cooldown, 110. It goes down by 10 seconds per level, starting at one, 120. So, at level 3, it will 100 second cooldown. I just wanted to see, you know, cause since it's a new year, I just want to... Oh, it's check. ultimate. Okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 10 seconds reach is kind of little, you know, it's kind of small. But it's obviously a huge buff. Even at level 1, it's only 120. Well, I mean, throughout the entirety of a game, how many more is he yeah, going to be able to get it's off? Yeah, but it's like having a Tempest. Too. It's it's even yeah. better than Tempest in a way since, you know... Well, Tempest works through Shrunken Head. Obviously, it's not the same thing, but it, you don't have to channel for it. It is it is a channel, but you don't have to actually, you know... can't be disrupted as the hero itself. Anyway. Symbol of Rage finished on Puppet Master to go along with his yeah, token, which is only going to be around for another minute. Still, because Silhouette's not going for damage. She's going for kind of like a gank. She's going for a gank. So she's not going for push. She's going to gank. And so far, she's only effectively ganked like a voodoo jester. Well, it's kind of odd, given their lineup here, that she wouldn't... I mean, the cohesion yeah, there, you would imagine, would be the idea of push. Let's do something early. We've got Tort. We've got Silo. We've got... Mm -hmm. All these guys here that Honestly, can help us sure. out. Why why wouldn't you go and, for that yeah, strat? Um, Puppet's probably... I would still give, you know, like you said earlier, like Puppet does damage. have the edge late game, even if they do both try and go for the carry. I guess Keeper could try and throw a wrench into that, but Puppet can always use his um, shrunken head to ruin the Keeper ult. Yeah, then he has the buffs from the... <laughs> yeah, his creep yeah. minions And he has here. a lot of extra intel from the Cauldra Sheep Sticks, so that'll help with the Wolf Commander aura. Then of course he gets the extra attack speed buff, so nice, nice. I wonder about it. They removed the aura, right? The Vulture Lord used to have an armor aura, right? That was I the thought so. Yeah, but he then used it got to removed. Have... Oh. Yeah, that was the only... That because was the he only... could cast his little spell and he had armor, so I guess that made yeah. him double effective. Yep, super effective. It's super effective. I used to play um, Pokemon Stadium back on Nintendo 64. Oh, yeah. I was honestly the most... That was the best Pokemon game. Yep. And I loved unlocking, like, the Doe Duo and Doe Trio Game Boy in that. That was sweet. <laughs> it's like, man, who needs a bike when you can play the game at, like, five times speed? If only yep. they had the freaking music changed, because that will wear on some nerves pretty quick. Yeah, I honestly, I had, I played it on, like, a lower volume. But uh, the game itself was so good. Yeah, I definitely loved that. Looking back on it now, the announcer was definitely a little bit much, but <laughs> it was still yeah, fun. Yeah, as, as a kid, it seems epic. Yeah, lot, for sure. A lot of things seem epic as a kid. <laughs> like certain heroes, or not heroes, but I mean certain uh, superstars who are considered heroes, and then they... You don't realize that how much they actually use performance-enhancing drugs and all that, and then... It's like Mark McGuire was like a hero to me as a kid, and then... <laughs> And, you know, when you get a little older and you realize that performance-enhancing oh, drugs... Oh, that was all creatine. You know that. Yep. <laughs> Vulture Lord has that, a passive you know, region Sammy now. Sosa a 3 Mark HP Maguire region. Going for the home run record. They yeah, like oh, that was definitely for, fun. They and were, since they I'm like from Missouri, next. that's like a big thing for me, too. Because he was a Cardinals guy, so... Yeah. 
used to love me some Mark McGuire. Pretty awesome. And then it's always funny when they show you before and after pictures how when people get older they get <laughs> they get more muscular. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like yeah, it's showing <laughs> there. <laughs> Barry Bonds was a really bad example, or was a, a huge example of that. Mark, yeah. Mark was a pretty bad one, but Barry Bonds that was just so night and day. Yeah, that's just. Went to be in so relatively scrawny uh, till all of a sudden. And wrestling, that was you Hulk. know. Yeah, I was so into it as a kid, and then. Oh, the and then the same thing. thing. Yeah, once <clears> you get there. Related to Han, um, since we are casting a Han game. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of the new Congor changes that they removed the little weeds so there sweet. and stuff? So. You think that, that smaller, that's the change that they need? Added, yeah, because before, if you'd come there as a Legion player. It's so risky because you'd come down one ramp and the other team would just, you couldn't even see where they were. So you just came down blind and then you just got jumped. Yeah. And what were and you? By like, you were all together. That, yeah. yeah. You were all together. Now there's two ramps. So you can kind of come from two different angles. You can't get jumped as easily. There's also a lot more room. So it used to be from the Congress pit, you could jump straight out to the ramp and just like gank them. Mm -hmm. And now you can't really jump out there and gank them because there's too much distance in between. And that does make the whole warding situation a little more difficult, too, I would yeah, imagine. As yeah. far as being able to, you know, cover your That's, bases yeah. for the Hellborn. It used to be the Hellborn could chuck up one ward down there and they'd be set. Yeah, so it's kind of like that. I really do like the changes. The people were crying about it for a real long time, and honestly, this goes a really long way. You, it's not easy in the least bit anymore to really just, like, all right, Legion's coming, let's just bait them over here. I've done that so many times. You just bait the other team. Just sit in Kong. They can't see you. <laughs> and you just stand there, not attacking Kong, or wait until they all group up. And once they're all on that one little ramp, you just jump them because the distance from the pit to the ramp is so small that you could do it. So, yeah, I, I really do like it. I think that's one of the best changes they've implemented for a while in terms of balancing the game. Nice. I think that they need to stop worrying about balancing the game and just keep putting new heroes out. That seems to be a winning strategy to me. Yep, Am I right? I have a, <laughs> a double ultimate from Keeper of the Forest, but Testy is like, I don't scare. Yeah. <laughs> I don't scare easily. And decides to go ahead and keep killing people. As that, um, that seems to be an effective strategy for him. Killing people. Uh, he is going to be taking down Keeper of the Forest here. Getting a smackdown, becoming legendary, and claiming a hat trick, and he, gonna be getting the Congor here. So at this point, he's—they don't have damage, right? He just life steals everything. The symbol of rage. They would oh. need to take. See, this is where the Hellflower. Oh God. Uh, why? Why? What? What you doing? What you doing, bro? I can't <laughs> let him get that illusion rune. You don't understand how important this is. Yeah, I think that's what the team chat was going on. Uh, Swindle Melon's about to get a kill on Behemoth. I, I don't care. I'm getting Congor. That's what that's what Puppet and Bubbles say. Yeah. As uh, they are going to team? see about team? wrapping up uh, Congor here. Um, Torture deciding to come in at the last second. Not going to be able to stop Testy from getting the new token. Um, but is able to escape himself, so that's nice. All right, so I want to say that the nice thing that Silhouette does... She does have the Hellflower, which can be used on Puppet Master. Although with Puppet, you want the Hex over the Hellflower since he can kind of just, you know, he can auto attack you through it and he hits pretty hard. Although it perplexes, you know, so none of your items work, which means that he can't use his Shrunken Head, his Symbol of Rage. Ah. Pretty sure he won't be life. All right, this is the part where someone's going to have to correct me because I'm not 100% certain, but I'm pretty sure he doesn't life steal when he's under the effects of. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure on that one either. Uh, I'm not. That, if you guys okay. know that they do, they are usually pretty good. I mean, I'd be you know weeks slash months later from our cast, but we will get an answer. <laughs> uh, usually, there is someone that'll. I'll, I'll get an email all of a sudden. It's like, oh yeah, that was for that reason. Um, gotta totally rethink about what I had asked in the cast, but yeah. Does it allow him to life steal while he is um, silenced from the Hellflower? Is the question. I would imagine not, but. He, the point is he can still auto attack through it, so you kind of want the Cauldra Sheepstick. I would have expected Keeper to actually go for... He may sell. See, he's just keeping it as a pickled brain just so he has the mana to refresh. Yeah. And he has a portal key now. Warden... Where? Yeah, Warden did disappear. <laughs> he's been farming away. He's got himself a brand new Mighty Blade. Feeling pretty good. Where is Warden at, actually? <laughs> I can't find him to click on him. 
Oh, there he is. Hammerstorm. Yeah, it's funny because Warden never wore it. It's just like... <laughs> mm. See, he could have been all catchy with it. Instead of going like, I'm the Warden of the Forest, he could just be, I'm just Warden. What's up? Yeah, exactly. And Dying in Legion Forest when he's on the Hellborn. Be like, dudes, I was getting a ward up. It's not worth it, man. It's not worth it. Shut up. Oh, but nice portal key usage there from Keeper, dodging the um, Corrupted Disciple, uh, wanting to get the initiation Astrally going out there. on Demented Shaman. Oh, nicely done. And Testy, what did he... Oh, Demonic Breastplate, yeah. You gotta be kidding, did he? <laughs> wow. Six, that's what 640 GPM will do for you. Oof. Testy, testy, testy. Showing people how it's done in classic style. Showing his awesome farming capabilities. Some might be bored with that, but Testy says, you know what, I like to win. And winning, um, you know, usually happens when I get my farm on. So, But Bubbles talk about being gutsy running down here. Nice use of the take cover. Gonna go ahead and go down anyways. Puppet Master being forced to face off against this silhouette finally once and for all. Um, but I don't think it's going to end up well for this silhouette. Silhouette is going to probably go down here. There we go. What the hell is Puppet Master? Why does he keep stopping there? Is that just... What was that? When did he stop? It didn't seem like he was auto-attacking for the longest time. Oh, because of the Keeper of the Forest ultimate. Oh, but he had his Shrunken going. Yeah, it goes through... Because sh he used it before him. Oh. So it goes through Shrunken. It, it won't damage him, but it'll root him. Okay. Is that new, or is that... Has that... No, it's always been wow. that way. Okay. Yeah, like, uh, Geometer Bane will get you out of it. Shrunken Head will get you out of it, but... I knew there's a lot of ways to get out of it, but I guess that the double yeah. root is the situation there, that he cast it while it was already on. Yeah, if you cast it. it while it's okay. already on, then it'll go through, but it won't damage. So. Oh, Minoxin showing his noob colors yet again. Nah, the... I've, I've said some stuff that are pretty noob, too. Like, every once in a while, and then, then you just learn. I have those moments time and time again. Then you just learn from it, and the next time you try not to make the same mistake. See, the second time, if you do the same thing, like, oh, I did it again, then already. Frostwolf on to yeah. Silhouette there. Yeah, saw that. so that's that nice. He's finally getting, like, a, a better item, I'd say. Yeah, that's definitely going to help her out when she has to face off against Testy. Going but Helm the Black Legion and then getting a Frostwolf skull anyway? Yeah. I don't know, I would have just gone the Frostwolf skull. I mean, I understand Helmbach Legion is really cheap. You know, it's really cheap, but still. I I don't know. Like, If you're going to go Helmbach Legion, you kind of want to go a really offensive build. You just want the early tank so you can do stuff, which she was just kind of farming earlier on anyway. So I think in that... In that regard, Puppet's way far ahead. Like, he's way ahead. I am really amazed still yet at how even the game is overall. I mean, look at the experience and gold differential here. We're at a 3,000 experience, essentially, and about a 4,000 gold difference. It's 22 to 24, 45 minutes into this game, um, you know, averaging about a kill a minute or more. Um, so it's, I, I don't know, it just seems like the Hellborn should have more of an advantage in this so far, but they, uh, the Legion keeps it's doing a good job. It's all on the back of, of Puppet Master. I mean, <laughs> sticking into this, yeah, that's what kind of what it seems like. But honestly, look at the gold accumulated from, you know, Melons and Charles from Ador. As <laughs> I'm just waiting, like, what are they going wow. for? Wow, now I get what you're talking about. I was checking gold per minute and I spotted that huge 5,000 gold. There, Swindle spent his. Yeah, so what is he getting? I would assume... Mm, also it's on the not career, so maybe? Much. Oh, Hellflower. Eh, yeah, Hellflower? Mm, I can... Not bad. Yeah. Like, he, he hits very hard, obviously, because he has the Call of Sheep Stick intel. And if that does stop the leech like you're hoping, um, that will definitely be a big, uh, big negative for Puppet if they can manage to chain that on him. Yeah, really, Even really if nice. if one of them is... Um, you know, what disabled. else he could have gone for aside from that? That's that's the only thing. Like you kind of think like, what else should he have gotten? He could have gone for um, the uh, what are you? Frostfield plate would have been. I think in my opinion, might have been a little better if he would have gone Frostfield plate instead of Hellflower. Since I think he's just trying to neutralize that you know puppet. Whereas yeah, has, you know yeah, Frostfield is going to make him more tanky, but I still think that he'd still pretty he'd get pretty shredded. It doesn't no. matter if you're the last man standing on your team, you know, you're still probably going to be outnumbered, well, but... Yeah, yeah, I suppose. So he, since, if he's not going to focus in team fights, then definitely, if he's the last one standing, meaning that they're not really jumping him, oh, that, that Wow. That well, it's, is a it's a dead dimension. Dimension, but... Yeah. Bad mojo. <laughs> 
as now they are going to try and catch the retreating Puppet Master. Oh, oh, and they're oh. going to do it. Oh, Shrunken Head coming out. Beautifully done there. He's attacking Silhouette, though. Not sure if that's essentially the best route to go. Um, but he is going to try and go ahead and take her down. The help is on the way. Testy does go down. When did he use his Shrunken... Or when did he use his um, token? I didn't even notice that. I it saw expired. that he picked up the Slayer. Oh, it expired. Okay. Yeah, seven minutes. That's right. As Torture is going to be <laughs> going up against Corrupted Disciple, narrowly winning thanks to the Silhouette coming in at the last second. And wow, this might um, this might end up paying oh my God. well for the Legion Wait, here. What? what? What item is that? What? What item are you Shop looking Medora's at? Shalfmador's Frostwolf Skull. Whoa. What? what? It is. <laughs> oh, what? You gotta be shitting me. What? Behemoth gra- <laughs> Did he accidentally <laughs> drop it, or- What? What? Um... Okay. What? I almost want to go back to that point and do a slow-mo to see how yeah, that happened. what? What? Why is there Scotty on the ground? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, like, there's a frost. I'm like, it can't be. Like, it- and then it was. Drop hacks, yeah. <laughs> wow, what? That is... I I would almost want to rewind, except we're doing, you know, it'd be hard to sync up and redo Yeah, it. to get, get us back But even there. so, it's kind of like, huh? He's confused. What on I mean, it's not like he's raging, like... Oh. I mean, his teammates Okay, okay, I think more. I see what happened. Okay, what happened? I think, I think he was getting an item off the courier, and he... Oh, and shit broke loose, and that's when he had to lose track of what he was doing. Yeah. Or he thought think, that he was going to get it, but nope. I think that's what happened. Like, he put it, dropped it down, he was going to swap items with the courier, and then he kind of, yeah. That's the only thing I could think of. Like, Trout maybe, for Brax. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys, I don't know, maybe someone watching, if you caught it on camera, they maybe they caught it. I wasn't really paying attention to that part of it. Like, I saw the courier coming, I saw things happening, but I wasn't really focused on it. But that's... Dang, that's like one of the most expensive items in the game. It's like, wow. The, I think it's the most expensive item in the game. Well, I mean, now yeah, he's got plenty costs. of room for, you know, like <laughs> if he wants to go bracers or. I mean, yeah. Good. I thought Symbol of Rage was, but it's 50 gold more. It's 6,200 gold. Wow. And he just handed that. Okay, so this gold disparaging here. <laughs> yeah. If you add 6,000 yeah. onto that, you're up somewhere <laughs> around 12, so. Oh that's, my god. That's pretty huge. Yeah, that's Yeah. Can't really can't really comment on that, but that that's got to suck, huh? Well, I mean, why would you even be trying to do a courier transfer while you're all the had, way up there? That's and just And he had he had a TP on him. Like he had a he had a teleport. <laughs> wow. It's like why not drop So he picked up 100... his Lincolns is what he That's what he got, right? Or the Nullstone? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I think that's what must have happened. But he had a 135 gold homecoming stone on him, and he drops, he drops his frostal skull. It was a panic <laughs> mode. I mean, Blue was about ready to die, so he needed to get back in there in a hurry. Because yeah. that's, I guarantee you, that's probably when it happened, because he ducked out of that fight, I and then Swindle, Swindle was Fairly, about ready yeah. to die, and he Swindle shows back that. up. So Yeah, it's his fault. Yep, definitely. <laughs> Take shouldn't, cover from the, done that, the fake know? hammer storm. <laughs> nice, yeah. and the portal key. Trying to dodge. That sucks. So, all right. So, Crever Disciple has Yamater Bane going for Frostal Skull. So he's tank, tank, and super tank. He steals. I wow, think he steals indeed. about 200 damage with Corrupted Conduit, right? Uh -huh. It's like 20 damage per charge, and it works for 10 seconds or something. Believe so. Or maybe it's eight seconds, so it's 180. I'm not sure. And there's I think a it's 200, but I don't, I don't know. As uh, actually, yeah, we're gonna see Corrupted Disciple maybe go down here. She is trying to line up the tree branch. Unfort. Oh, beautiful timing on the shrunken head from Corrupted Disciple. Pops it right as uh, the stuns come out from Hammerstorm and uh, Voodoo there. Um, as we now see Puppet Master scaring the remainder of the Legion team, well, I guess the whole entirety of the Legion team away. As Puppet now being stunned, Corrupted Disciple trying to do something, gets caught in the double cre Keeper ult. And, and there you go. <laughs> 6,200 gold down and the Keeper. Wow. Man, this, the Keeper. <laughs> See right no there. Scotty necessary, no indeed. Scotty necessary. 
the double ulti from Keeper. I don't think I've ever seen it be that deadly before, but that that was. I mean, it's there's no stopping it. You you yeah, can pop he came your shrunken in after head. The shrunken and head from yeah, Testy was used, so he didn't have anything to stop it. He should get Geometer Bane, honestly. Like I've gotten it on Top of Master in general, although I think they removed it. The Whiplash used to proc off the illusions. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it still exists. I'm Talk not. about a boss, though. Look at this Keeper tanking down on this Congor. As he is going to go ahead and portal key out of there, um, in the name of safety. Question is, is now the Hellborn going to try and make a move on this? If they only knew that the Legion was completely scattered at the moment. <laughs> if only. Alright, let's see. Bubbles, has he finished? Yeah, he has finished his Call of Sheep Stick. That's really nice. So, like, that's why Keeper is so deadly. You can have all the items in the world on... <laughs> you can have... He's fully stacked practically and it doesn't really matter against a keeper because you just sit there for eight seconds and be like if mud knife so yeah honestly he should sell that slayer and pick up a geometer beam yeah serious no jokes <laughs> if he does that he has two ways of getting out of keepers ultimate so i i would do that honestly arachna is like the best counter to keeper of the forest since he has wow. the he has the natural escape. Well, you could say Predator too, but the yeah. Hammerstorm yeah. got caught in the puppet blender. Um, went down very quickly there. Mm -hmm. What is that? Yeah, he, what's it, that? It, the puppet blender. The puppet blender. The I mean, look at look at all this. It's just yeah. the puppet unleashes. It's like a giant blender on everything. You just cream stuff, turns it into coins. Um, <laughs> oh shit. We got stuff going down top as we have uh, Behemoth going down to a Silhouette and Torturer, who are very good at what they do. And um, looks like Silhouette's going to push this top lane a little bit. Meanwhile, running her Illusion down, she's going to go ahead and blink to that, I would imagine, here in short order. There it is. Forcing Corrupted Disciple to go ahead and use his uh, Geometers. Yeah, that. There we As go. Puppet Master gonna have to use his shrunken head and run away. I think he's down to five seconds on his shrunken head. Yeah, right. it wore off really quickly there. So, uh, yep, I think that. Um, yeah, it is five. Very unfortunate. Forty-five seconds on the keeper ultimate from coming back up if he uses the resto. Eighty-three, eighty-three. Otherwise, oh, um, oh, nice pick off there coming out. Congor does go down. Does silhouette? Ah, uh, she's got room now. She doesn't have that Scotty clogging things up. So going to be um, picking up the token there and taking down a Puppet Master in a short order. Oh, or not, as the Puppet Master critical splashes and takes down a few folks there. Very nicely done. Demented Shaman coming and healing up, throwing the shield up onto Puppet Master. Silhouette trying to desperately get out. Does manage to portal key away. I think she's going to be able to make it out of this. Looks like she will. Hammerstorm running around here, um, trying to decide whether or not he wants to try and help her with her escape or just make his own way out. As he's got a huge creep train following. Well, I don't know why he doesn't just go push. I mean, there's pretty much at the tower. You can just push. But instead, he decides to make his own out of there. So, yeah, Geometer Bane over Savage Mace in this case. I don't know. The Whiplash used to work. They may or may not, because I know they nerf Geometer Bane, like, in general. It's just yeah. nothing procs off it. Well, nowadays. it was an everyman's item. So mm, that was yeah. one of those things they kind of needed to tweak a little bit. Let's see. Voodoo Yester. Wow, I just can't believe that Puppet Tablet survived Command that. And That's Mighty Blade. crazy. Yeah, Symbol of Rage. Yep, Symbol and Desham finally showed up. And yeah, it was just, wow, just really cool. Yeah, it's like it's all or nothing. Either you kill him right away or you just, you lose. So, Keep of the Fire also didn't have his ultimate up there. It was on cooldown, so. Pretty poor fight to actually go into. Not having his ultimate is pretty big. Just going to say that for that one. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know why he would have bothered wasting He had 40-something seconds until his refresher was up. Why they couldn't have just held off on Congor for that little bit longer. They would have had the double keeper ulti. That would have made such such more sense in my mind. But um, instead tries to go for the quick move on Puppet to get him to <laughs> pop his thing. What are you keeper, giggling at? Keepers like Testy get Doombringer and he says, sell your, your refresher. And I will. <laughs> <laughs> Man, so scared. He's not even manly. He doesn't want to risk it. You gotta, you gotta go for broke. Oh, but I mean, just look at Chalfmador. Gets like the most expensive item in the game and just drops gives it, it to like the enemy boss. team. 
He's like, yeah. there, you guys need that. And they're like trying to figure out how to get it to work. Oh, I can't get it to work, guys. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. I tried. I tried to give you a chance. but Man, that reminds me of the Jawas. <laughs> Jawas? <laughs> yeah. When From Star Wars? The, yeah. When they, they find the stuff and they look at it and they try to tinker with it. Oh, okay. I get you now. I finally get it. <laughs> yeah. How it works. Yeah. I don't I know. That's, see that that's now. what it is in my head. Little Jawas. Tinkering and on as floor. Cakes is like, all right, you want dessert? Huh? And dessert? I got I got something here special for you. Use tablet command. Oh, does not have to do it. He gets his ultimate out. Unfortunately, his ultimate decides Kill to target with bubbles. Fire. And oh my god. The, um, there we go. There's... 800 damage yeah. tick. That was a really nice immediate um, use of the cursed ground along with the stun <laughs> there. Bubbles and trying to get away from that. Yeah. Unfortunately, not going to be able to do so. Uh, Restoration Stone is still available on Keeper if he chooses to do it. There it is. And the de second ulti goes out, catching this Corrupted Disciple. Um, I believe Testy has already bought back twice. What is his gold currently anyway? Is it even if he wanted... Nope, cannot do it, even if he wanted to. And I believe that we are approaching GG. So, wow. There we go. Legion team yeah. pulling it out of their ass uh, after giving away a, a 6,000 oh, gold item. Is that the same one, or did he rebuy another Frostwolf Skull? No way. Did he? <laughs> did he seriously? Did they have I it in the fountain or anything as a little trophy? Is it back here somewhere? I think I think he bought another one, honestly, because wow. he doesn't have a new item. And it's been a while since he dropped it, so he bought another one. That's that's some impressive play. MVP status at Chalfmador. Doesn't... For sure. Okay. Drops wow. it. Farms another one. No complaints. Well, he complained a bit. But to be fair, I mean, who wouldn't? <laughs> yeah, totally. As, um, I... It's kind of hard to really say that the, the keeper modifications is what truly made this game turn out the way that it did there. Definitely the cooldown on Keeper's ulti being a little bit shorter is going to give them a bit of an advantage. Um, the com pardon me, the combination of his invis and armor and regen and stuff all being in his one move now. His pushing ability is insane. And the extra attack, like with Demonic and the Steam Boots, he attacks like with the, the trees around him. He attacks like 1.8 attacks per second. Wow. He's stupid. He's he is seriously putting out some, some good stuff there. <laughs> As they are claiming that the ghosting was too strong for them to overcome. Man, Cardinal. Oh, why you gotta be like that? So, very unfortunate. Maybe they needed to go open up Swindles and then balance things out. Yeah, exactly. It's like, it's it's called advanced play, you know? Yeah, All it's fair. multitasking. I mean, that's what a true pro can do is, you know, if he can exactly. micro that good, then, you know, it's he deserves to win. It's right? like backdooring, you know, it's frowned upon, but you know it's there to use <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i'm just joking <laughs> but uh, it's it's all speculation you know like yeah. they have no way of knowing it's no like way whenever sure. there something wasn't any goes truly wrong, super yeah. obvious ghosting going on I, at I, least i get this today i had i'm just gonna throw out there i got it was like seven eight minutes into the no it was like i'm gonna say it was like 10 minutes into the game and i'm just there farming and all of a sudden, I get ganked. I'm like, there's no way. They gotta be ghosting. Like, so I, but I buy a counter war just because, you know? Mm -hmm. And there was a ward there in like a random spot in the jungle. 10 minutes in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Who are these people? Yeah. What advanced <laughs> pro level did they come from that I'm just so blown away and unexpected here? I'm not blown away. I'm just like, why are they trying so hard? Yeah. <laughs> Try it's, hard. So I was thinking, like, Running tri lanes in a 1600 game. Come on. Yeah. I must like live and let live. That's that's my philosophy. <laughs> that's it. I want to see Bubbles be like a snapping turtle. Bubbles. I want to see his mm -hmm. shell get all wicked and you know cool looking. Be like an alligator snapping turtle. Yeah, but there's it's a ninja Bubbles though. Honestly, like you can't come close to that. Uh, I don't know. I just want to see. My, truly, I want to see it's what. Snapping. I can't remember the name of it, but it was the turtle from the Ninja Turtles movie, the snapping turtle that got mutated. I want to see that. I can't remember. It was Rizar and something. Rizar's the wolf, though. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. It's very familiar, but honestly, like, myself and Ninja Turtles, it's been, uh, been quite a long time. That was, like, one of the oldest cartoons. Yeah. Like, oh, original. Yeah. I loved Ninja Turtles. I was, like, I our, like, our real, like, little kid, the, the comics. 
Did they not concede? This game's still going on here, I guess. Yeah, that's, yeah, it is. I thought that it had a concede go out, but they've they've got top Raxes, so they are hanging in here and um, refusing to uh, go ahead and concede this. So, and Hammerstorm had a Mighty Blade at one point, but now he, he has a, a Warhammer oh, wow. and a Barbed Armor. So, he has Mighty Blade in Stash, but he kept his luck in Stash. Okay. <laughs> Shout out to Warden. Strong place. Yeah. I, I honestly don't know. Honestly. I, I'm confused, because I did see a Mighty Blade on his person... Like a long, long time ago. Is he going for... Wait, you said it's in his stash? Well, I don't know, because he had it on him. So either he sold it or it's Wouldn't, in his stash. Isn't that part of what makes Shrunken Head? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But he has a Warhammer now. Yeah, he's got a war. Oh, well, I figured he was just building something else in addition to. As Corrupted gonna be going down there, oh, getting oh, caught farming. Oh. Oops, 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 oops. Yeah, yeah. I just, like, totally blanked out there for a second. As, As the first <laughs> keeper ultimate goes out, catching the puppet master. Hey, there you go. He yeah. was listening to you. Geometer's Bane picked up on puppet master a little too late though, but still yep. a nice, uh, nice token. I yeah, guess, I was, I was totally thrown off. I was focusing on something else. I was like, why does he have a warhammer? Because he was getting shrunken head, and then I'm like, uh, nope. Yeah, I derped there. My bad. He did have <laughs> shrunken head already. I was totally oh, on a prayer. Yeah, I was focusing on something else at the time, and I like half paying attention. I just skimmed over the hero. I'm like, hmm, Warhammer. Why on earth does he have that? Yeah, I assume he's going for well. It builds Savage Mace and it builds the uh, Desolator. So. The, uh, Holy crap! That is probably one of the biggest Behemoth ults I've ever seen. Yeah. Took down me. everything. Doesn't matter though. Testy's gonna go down here. Pops his symbol of rage. Not gonna be enough. Does yeah. Go can't down. attack fast enough at that point. Keeper has already got his demonic. I assume he was going for a child breaker. Ah, yep, yep. I would assume shield. so as well. It just sounds better when it's child. The yeah. child breaker! <laughs> Alright, so entertaining game. I kind of had a feeling they were going to lose because there was a keeper in the game. And <laughs> ultimate. And He's he didn't just get that the OP bane. now. Just the he OP. Didn't, no, but he didn't get the geometer bane. Like, he got it later in the game, but it's kind of like <laughs> after yeah. it's all said and done, he got the right item. Which, it, like, it doesn't make sense on the hero. Like, I didn't actually make, didn't check if the Whiplash proc, because I didn't have a chance to. They were kind of rooted, so the only chance I had to check if they still work is kind of doesn't really matter. But hmm. entertaining game. It kind of went as I expected. Really? You think that the Keeper is that OP now? That he's such a big deciding factor? You know, he was always strong, like the double ultimate. Well, I knew that he was strong. I just didn't, I didn't anticipate that his... ...down is 100 seconds on his ultimate. I mean, just having... It's one of the strongest ultimates in the game, if not... I wanted to say it's like the strongest, but it, it's definitely up there with like top five strongest ultimates in the game. And it's a 100 second cooldown right now, instead of it used to be like 160. Yeah. 180. I'm sure there'll be some more tweaking on him. I just can't wait until they get this new hero. What is it, Plague or something? Or Pestilence? Or I can't remember what the fuck like it's if, if they're going to make it a lot shorter cooldown, maybe remove that it goes, like, that it's superior. I don't know, honestly. Hmm. But it would definitely require a little bit of tweaking. And as far as competitive play, though, I don't see how he fits so much, because he's not a tri laner. And he's, you can say he's a jungler, but then. People, they're no real junglers, so you can't really have him like that. So he would either be solo mid or solo side lane. And his his summons don't really hit that hard. They just tank. So even though he's really strong, he doesn't really have a place in competitive play. Hmm. Offhand, I'm going to say that. I'll have to wait and see, you know. Yeah, see actually. what becomes of it. I'm sure he'll be auto-banned for a little while until they figure out his true power. Well, um, no, not really. So, like I'm saying, he doesn't really have, he doesn't really fit in in a competitive lineup hmm. as as a hero, which is why, which yeah, like the only way he fit in beforehand was as an occasional unusual pickup. He went mid, but since he got nerfed, like his starting strength and his strength gain was nerfed. Yeah, he doesn't hit as hard, and he doesn't he doesn't tank nearly as much. Like it's so it's it's kind of like. He, his only potential prior, you know, or like previously was the fact that he went mid, which he can't really do now. So I don't see him being picked up in competitive play, although he's he's strong. Like if you're in if you want to win games, play him. But as far as a competitive hero and pickup, I don't see it happening. Sorry about that. Yeah, um ended up alt tabbing and that killed my recording, so um 
but anyways, we were just discussing the the keeper there, and um, you were fin- you just had like two words there at the end that got cut off. So I think um, we're clear that you think that uh, keeper is probably not going to be that competitive just simply because he doesn't fit into the the meta or whatever you want to call it right now, the the team lineups as it is. Um, otherwise, on this game, what um, what do you think? I guess the main thing would have been for Testy to have gone ahead and with that massive far and gotten his. Geo um, a little bit sooner to have countered that uh, amazing yeah. keeper ultimate. Yeah, they they really know. I mean, that screwed him over so many times. Like what, three times in a row? Mm-hmm. Pretty much in an engagement where he just couldn't move. And also, a lot of times he he used like even without the restoration stone being being up for him, he only had his ultimate. But he had used his shrunken head before then, since he didn't want to get disabled in general. Like. Torture has disables, Hammer has disables, Voodoo Jester, like, he didn't want to get get stunned, so he had to use it, like, had to, had to, but I mean, he, you know, it's definitely worthwhile for him to use it, but then what does he do about the Keeper? So having that added added utility with the Geometer Bane would have let him, with Keeper's Restoration Zone being on cooldown, he could, he didn't have to worry about using a Shrunken Head, he could have gotten out of it with a Geometer Bane too, so... Hmm. It definitely would have been a good pickup earlier on. Instead, he went for a Savage Mace, which, like I said, like all the damage in the world. I was like, going to he's, he's doing plenty of damage by that yeah, point. He was doing a if ton. You can't but... hit someone, that doesn't really matter. Yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. Like, it's like having this missile, he's like, but I can't fire it. <laughs> Yeah. And it's just So Testy once again proving how effective a six hundred farm can be if you don't get the right item at the right time. Yeah. Um so thank you so much on a prayer for joining me. It's been great to get another cast done here. It's the first one in a long time. Looking forward to doing some more here if I can find another good cast or uh replay I should say. But um yeah, thank you for joining me and thank you all for watching. Um uh, if you are not subscribed currently and you're watching this still, thank you for watching and you feel free to subscribe. It is free. Also, go check out On a Prayer's uh, site there on Justin TV. I will include a link in the description over to that to where he does his streaming and I believe you have some videos there uh, on demand as well for them to look at. Uh, videos on demand? Well, well I mean, as far as like but... videos there that are in your yeah, yeah library. Already, the history, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, um, so thank you all for watching, and this has been Minoxin and On a Prayer, and we will catch you guys next time.